Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It's Monday afternoon. I've only had one call, like official call, because the first one got moved, but I've already been on three calls. Really happy about that. And I still have two more to go. So in between, whilst I have like an hour and a half, I'm running out to try to get some errands done. It is a shitty day out weather-wise. I have been pretty busy, as I said, all morning, getting ready for calls and being on calls and doing all that shit. None of my shit's gotten delivered yet. It actually doesn't look like I'm going to be getting the prograde stuff, which just annoys the shit out of me because you know, I thought that it would be easier if I ordered it both pieces directly from the company itself rather than just going with like B&H. Oh, that'll learn me, whatever. So that hasn't come in yet and neither has any of my other stuff, although it's out for delivery. So I've just been waiting and refreshing because I wasn't going to go out and do all these errands until I got notification that the stuff had been delivered so that I don't have to keep going out and going back out and all that kind of stuff. Like at this point now, I don't have time to wait. I have all this other shit to do. So I'm just gonna deal with the fact that I'm probably gonna go all the way in the opposite direction and then I'm gonna get notification that, that it's been delivered. Time for coffee. <laughs> What a whirlwind. Okay, so I ended up going out, going to the bank, driving to three ships, coming back, tracking still showed out for delivery. So I decided to just go home, came here, gave my wife her coffee, came upstairs, set my coffee down, heard a ding, letting me know I got an email, sat down in my chair and looked up in the email said, delivered. Wouldn't that figure? So I had to get redressed, go back out in the rain, drive to the UPS store and get our packages. She got her package. I got my two things. And what did I get, you ask? I got a carbon fiber tripod, just a smaller one though. This one's gonna be more travel. So I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. I've seen it say Suray. You're gonna know what it is. I mean, when I say that, let's look S-I-U or S-I-R-U-I. Where the hell is it? Yeah, S-A-R-U-I, however the hell you pronounce that. So I set it up and I got two pieces to it because I got the, the package that had the legs with the ball head, but I also got an additional uh, center column. Now this didn't work quite the same way as my big inner rail. And the inner rail, while perfectly wonderful, it is just too big and too heavy to carry around all over the place. That That is totally meant for birding. Again, too big, I'm not carrying that thing around. So I decided I wanted to get a small travel size one. And after looking through a billion different freaking and you know ads and reviews and comments and all that kind of stuff I've come to find that as with everything you'll look at something it'll have mostly positive reviews but then when you go back through and at least I do I go through and I start with the negatives and I want to see if there's a commonality amongst them or if it's just user error or something stupid where they're commenting about shipping that has nothing to do with the actual products, things like that. This one actually looks like it was pretty good. And again, I'm, I'm just taking my chances with it. Now, the big difference with this is, is that I only got it for what we're doing right now. So when I'm out on the road or something like that, this is, will stay in my forerunner and I will be able to just throw the filming camera setup onto this thing and set it somewhere and film myself. That could also include me going out and, and when I go out handheld to do birding or anything like that, or if I'm gonna do street photography and I need to film, whatever. Also, this is gonna be perfect to actually take pictures with, you know, if I decide to do pictures with this thing or whatever. But I, again, I wanted something small that I could travel with. The problem with this compared to the NRL is that the NRL, when I also bought the additional center column, the center column actually slides down in so that it bottoms out and then the legs fold in on it. This does not do that. This, you had to remove the ball head, twist the center column onto it, and then put the ball head back at the top of the center column. So the legs, unfortunately, don't fold up and over so that it makes it smaller. They still just fold in. This does go all the way to the ground, flat level. You can put the legs out all the way out. And the center column also is two pieces. So the second piece is down inside and it'll come up and it'll double in height. So right now I only have one section of the legs out on the tripod and then I have the center column all the way extended so that it's twice the smallest length and it's pretty much level 
with me sitting here and that's cool now i can drop this down then drop the legs all the way down it, it'll be small enough again it's still going to be smaller and lighter than the inner rail and it'll be perfect for me to just keep in the in the forerunner and pull it out whenever i need it i'm going to take the camera off and i'm going to show you this now here's the ball head and that's at the top of the center column which is attached right there and then i have one section of the legs out so let me set this down now and i show you how this looks so basically you twist that boom the center column goes down then twisty and then the legs just fold in now this still isn't even that big but it's almost like I'm not going to say twice as long, but this adds a lot to it. So I still may decide that I will twist this off and put the ball head back down here and just not have the center column. But I have definitely found that the tripods with center columns <laughs> just allow you to sort of adjust. Even when I had the inner row, when I first got it and I took it out, I didn't have the center column. I was like, eh, I don't need it. And I put it on there and found I did need it because it just gives you the ability to change the height enough to be able to deal with your height and your gears weight and and all that stuff that just the whole parameters of it all so that it's a little bit more convenient for you and rather than have to dick around with the legs and the adjustments and try to do micro adjustments you just use a center column now this thing is super light even with the center column on it with the ball head it's still like incredibly light i will put this through its paces but i will put it through its paces very carefully because of what happened to me with that shitty knee carbon fiber tripod that i had that i had my birding set up on and the damn top cracked off you know almost gave me a heart attack and i don't want that to happen again so at this point now though there it, it's a little bit different in, in the way this is all connected i think it's going to be pretty sturdy and if i took off the center column and put the ball head right down here I think it would be you know I mean it would just make it that much more sturdy or much less tippy overy I don't know I still don't think it's going to be bad though so I I'm good to go the ball head has just the archetype top part to it so I removed their plate and I'm just using the peak design plates that I use for everything else it seems like the the tightening portion of it that holds the actual head with the ball giggity it clamps pretty tight it's not that bad again this isn't the, the heaviest setup i'm not using the birding setup and then it has this little itty bitty one here so that you can pan it and spin it around and that's good to go everything seems to lock nice and tight so i have no complaints there and it also i mean it has these rubber feet on the bottom but the kit also came with uh steel spikes that you can then remove these and replace them with the steel spikes i doubt that i'm going to do that i don't ever really feel like i've ever needed the spikes granted i haven't really carried stuff like this out deep into the woods on the side of a cliff or a mountain or anything and i don't know that i'll be doing that at all going forward anyhow and it also came with a nice carrying bag and it has a zipper side pocket where i put the spikes so there you can kind of see that it's kind of reflecting off the light but i mean pretty substantial those look pretty cool also came with a strap i don't even know that i'll be carrying the bag with me probably should so that it's sitting in my forerunner it doesn't look like i've got a carbon fiber tripod that's it that's what i've been waiting for the cf express card a and the reader did not show up the tracking now shows tomorrow delivery but it still doesn't show that it's left california if i don't get it tomorrow then I will inundate them with hate mail and hate calls. All right, so that's pretty much it. I have a call, oh shit, I have a call in five minutes, and then I have another call at 3.30, so it's a day of calls. But that's all I wanted to show you today. It is an awful, nasty, rainy day, so I wasn't thrilled to have to go out twice, but at least I got cool toys. And that's all I've got for you today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. I will link to, to this thing in the center column and all that stuff down in the description. As always, thanks for joining me. And here's what I forgot to say yesterday. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.